Hello everyone. Um, the main thing I want to speak about today is COPA and how it's going to affect YouTubers and you know the whole point, so to say, of the law in the first place. Um, people, a lot of people are worried about losing their channels uh, and you know also wondering what there is we can do about it. And I'm going to link you to a video, a couple of videos that you really, really should watch. They're not craft channels. They are gaming channels. Um, and one of these gamers, Creek Craft, um, he is actually going to the House of Congress or one of those places <laughs> to meet with Noah Commissioner Noah J. Phillips, who has responded to him on Twitter um, about COPA. So see his video. He's got, I think he's done two videos um, that are very informative, um, more informative than the videos where people are just talking about conjecture and theories. I'm going to link you to two petitions, possibly more, because I, I, there's two that I've signed, and I'll link you to these petitions you need to sign, but you need to do more than signing petitions. Get on Twitter, and you need to tweet all of the commissioners that are involved in this. Link them to the Creek Craft video I give you a link for, and a short, you know, intro about you being against COPA and how it's going to affect so many YouTube channels. And it's just not going to protect children. The whole point of COPA originally, on the face of it, was supposed to be to protect children's privacy. And how this would work on YouTube is the computers are, certain things are, they'll pick up on certain words, images, content, uh, they will get flagged as being a children's video. Then someone who Creepcraft quite rightly said is probably going to be a man in his 60s, is going to watch a few seconds of your video and he's going to decide that's for kids. You know, even if it's, say, a South Park video, which definitely isn't for kids. Certain words are going to be flagged, like cool, whatever, free stuff, giveaway. He says it better than I do, and I'm going to leave all that to him. Watch his video. Support him, because he's going to be speaking on our behalf. He is actually meeting the main commissioner involved in inflicting this law in this way onto, you know, onto YouTube, but he's actually listening to us. The more of you that tweet him to, to show that you're supporting Creek Craft in this, and the more of you that tweet all of these commissioners, many of whom so far have been ignoring this, ignoring the tweets, the better, because that's how, you know, we're going to have to use activism here. We're going to have to actively be involved in campaigning for this law to be changed or how it affects YouTube to be changed. The whole point of COPA, if you flag your, if you choose to mark your videos as for children, Obviously, then the comment section is going to be gone and it, w it won't collect as much data. They're restricted in how much data they collect about the viewers if they think those viewers are children. Um, <clears throat> if you say that it, your videos are not for children, this won't happen. But there's the whole thing about you can get fined huge amounts of money if this man who watches the video decides that it is actually a child's video even though we know they're not. I'm definitely not explaining this very well so I'll give you the links but we do all need to do something about this. Um, you know it's not going to stop the dog fighting channels that YouTube are refusing to remove 
or the animal torture videos that YouTube has refused to remove, which the dog fighting, even this big Indian dog fighting channel that's up, that I've got taken down once but has come back up, dog fighting is illegal in India as well. So there's a lot of criminal content here on YouTube that needs to be removed. Um, and really, this is down, this is about child predators, isn't it? And this is not going to do anything to protect kids because there's still going to be children who are uploading videos that without their neglected parents even knowing what they're doing. And they're going to comment on other videos because they're lonely. And there's still going to be predators going through comments threads looking for young people who are vulnerable. Um, and I'm saying all this because I have run a group for the last seven or eight years who hunt predators online. So I know exactly what's on here and what needs to be done and it isn't this. You know, there is, I think that it's Facebook that needs to be focused on the most where there is a huge amount of bestiality content. There is seriously child porn on Facebook. There are predators preying on children who Facebook re refuse to remove these predators' accounts. They're refusing to remove groups that are related to the deep web and the, co and the dark web. And the content on there is torture porn, animal torture, people battering over videos where children have been raped to death. And this stuff, that's going to stay on the internet. And I don't see how restricting craft channels um, or removing craft videos, pet videos, gaming videos is really going to tackle the real issues here. And I'm probably going to lose my channel for saying all this on here, but I do feel very strongly about this. And <clears throat> moving on now to something a bit lighter. I just wanted to show you that I've got some new Christmas trims in. <laughs> I didn't mean to say all that, but it needed to be said. So I was thinking of doing um, Christmas trim bundles. So thinking of, but these are the four new, there's these two. Hang on. So it's not all on video at the same time. You've already seen these, but I'm thinking of adding all these trims together in like a value bundle. I've had a lot of questions about this ribbon. It is not six inches wide. It is, I think it's 0 0.6 of an inch, just over half an inch. And you can use it as seam binding. It is gorgeous. It's a really silky Italian ribbon. I've got the lovely autumn colours and that was the thing. I was going to do an autumn coloured trim bundle as well. Um, and a shabby pink Christmas trim bundle. And that's the ribbon in the pale pink. Isn't it gorgeous? I am getting other colours in. And all of the money from these ribbons, 100% of the proceeds of me buying them, went to the Doberman Rescue of the Triad. And I'm going to give you their links as well because we should support animal rescue now this stuff here these are not christmas or anything but i just wanted to show you how pretty these are two of my own favorites this is like a fluffy silky feathery hang on i think we're out of focus right there we are it is just dreamy and because i've got so many different trims in this color palette I was going to do a little bundle with all of them. So, and I'd uh, maybe like do a really boho bundle. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, 
nice autumn trim now i want to do some uh, shout outs but oh this reminds me i'm going to be making some elephant themed journals and they are going to be donated to elephant aid international i am uh, which is carol buckley's wonderful charity rescuing abused elephants from circus abuse the the cruel tourist riding industries the illegal logging industry and um oh my god from these drug addicted street beggars who abuse them uh learn about elephant abuse if you go on holiday do not ride elephants you think there is some beautiful spiritual experience but it's not that elephant has been put through the crush they would have had their limbs splayed apart beaten with claw hammers had the soles of their feet burnt with blow torches and their heads ripped out of them as lucky charms the weight of the seat on the elephant's back and all these human beings on the elephant's back causes horrific lifelong injuries and when that um and pain when that elephant isn't giving rides the elephant would be chained up and they can barely move more than from side to side they can't choose when to drink Give, each, give themselves uh, dust baths and mud baths to keep themselves cool and protect their sun, their skin from the sun. Um, these elephants, you know, they really are horrifically abused. Now, the charities that I support, well, I'm on the fundraising team, on Carol Buckley's team for Elephant Aid International. I'm trying to get this to focus. Um, I'll be donating some journals to them for a silent auction that they'll be con uh, conducting and I will give you the details as and when. This is never ever going to focus. It says Chanel number five on it. I think it's, I can't keep my hands still. Okay, it's just winding me up now. You'll never see it. <laughs> so that one comes boxed. It's beautiful. I've I forgot to bring my one of this one, but it's got all the designer perfumes, Vera Wang, Chanel, Dior, um, Marc Jacobs. So three different perfume themed washi tapes, and that's what this one looks like. They all got lovely packaging, so, and I will list those tonight, by tonight. Uh, and I've got, Sorry, this is the final thing I'm going to show you. I got this lace in and it is identical to the Hobby Lobby one, except it's much narrower. So that's the final. So you know about elephants and the journals I'm doing, so I'll let you know when that's happening. And I also want to quickly say, Laura, the papered soul, thank you for my shout out. And if you're from America or Canada or wherever, before you buy guest checks, eyelash trims, buttons, various things from me, please check Laura's shop first because Laura is more local to you and we sell a lot of the same stuff. We also sell a lot of unique things that the other one doesn't sell. And, you know, check her. It's best to buy more locally to you if you can, and Laura is a lovely person. Um, and you know, there's a couple of other sellers like Denise, A Tattered Dream, uh, Janine, J9 Scraps. So do check out their shops as well first. Now, the final thing, and in a way, the most important thing, I really, really um, want you all to check out my friend's channel. Magdalena Masso. I'm going to link you her channel, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. Magdalena and I have been friends for some eight years. Um, we have worked together hunting child predators, animal abusers, ISIS, um, and successfully tracing, you know, terrorists, paedophiles, animal abusers, um, to get them prosecuted or lynched, <laughs> I know, I should, just a joke, 
Um, <clears throat> Magdalena is helping the homeless. I know you won't like me saying this, Mags, but Mags is extremely terminally ill. She's very ill and she's got a new channel because she lost the login to her main one and she wants to get a subscribership over a certain number so that she can have live chats again to arrange how people can donate blankets and things to the and, and food to the homeless that she's helping and there are videos of her with the with the homeless people she helps and to give you the measure of Mags's character, when Mags was given a wheelchair and a walking frame for her condition, she gave them to a homeless or, or two of the homeless people. And she's in agony, but she gave her wheelchair to one of them. It's got to a point now where Mags actually is needing a wheelchair herself and someone has uh, donated her. So... But she's still going out nearly every day helping the homeless. So please support my friend. Um, and I think there's ways you can also, if you wanted to donate money to some of her campaigns, you can. And I just want you to know that she is 100% legit. She is not a scammer. She is real. There's no one more real than my mags. And she's rescued so many animals. She, she just mags you know i love you you're my girl i don't because i'll cry so <clears throat> check her out all these links will be underneath including the petitions and who to tweet the commissioners so get involved drop me a comment um all the people that are gonna thumbs me down <laughs> little finger to you <laughs> okay so catch you all soon bye everyone